International Food and Wine Festival 2024 kicks off today, August 29th, 2024. And we're here to check it out. We're gonna look at all of the new food, all of the old food. We're gonna taste some of the food. We might get on some rides. I would really like to do that. I haven't been in the park in two months. I've been dealing with a lot of personal stuff. Doesn't matter, but either way, I haven't been in the park in a long time. So I am Jonesy. International Food and Wine Festival. This is about my third year now going to the Food and Wine Festival. I absolutely love it. It is probably one of my most favorite festivals to go to. So let's check it out. Let's have some fun today. It is a hot one. There's a lot of people here. My hat on from last year. Let's see. I took it on the side. I don't want to take it off, but it's on the side. 23. And let's take a look at the merchandise that they have for this year. It'll be fun. I guess that is kind of nice because if you didn't get to come last year, it's the same thing this year. <laughs> and underneath the spaceship, Earth is my main man. You can't see him. He's hiding behind the bushes. There's Pluto's down there. He's talking to a baby, I think. Best AC in every park that you can go to. Oh yeah, Pluto's, he's hiding down there. Stand underneath Spaceship Earth for the best AC, honest to God, because of the winds. I oh, love it. Popped on over to Gateway Gifts. Look at, I saw these online. These are pretty cool. So wall statues. Those are cool. I also discovered something new because I haven't been in the parks for so long. Apparently, people have been trading. Should we go on a spaceship Earth? We haven't in a while. It's hot today though. It's gonna be hot in there. Yeah. Okay, now I'm in Gateway Gifts. The other I was not in Gateway Gifts before. There was too many people in the other store. Oh, that's cute, the new lounge flies. This looks like last year's pattern, but those are around last year too. Those are so cute, candy corn. Well, I found some light up pumpkins. We haven't gotten to the merch yet, but I have a feeling these probably don't even light up just because there's been so many people touching them. It still has a little plastic tab in it anyway, so. Those are cute. Oh, these are cute. Look at the stitches. Oh, he's all dressed up. I know. Is he, wait, is he dressed up like an alien? That's <laughs> oh, cute. Mickey. Or Minnie, I'm sorry. I was gonna say, that looks like Minnie's outfit that she's wearing this year. Yeah, it is. And this looks like Mickey's outfit, what he's wearing this year. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, this is what Mickey looks like at the booty. -oo. It's cute. Okay, I got really sidetracked because I'm like, yeah, I need to look at merch, but not that merch. We're gonna look at festival merch, so. The Halloween merch that we want to look at anyways is over in the Magic Kingdom, so. We'll go do that a different day. I just, I would have done that already by now. It's just again, with uh, personal stuff. It's fine, it's whatever, the life moves on, kind of a thing. I just wanted to take some time away from being in the parks. But now let's go eat some yummy food and drink some, let's drink some drinks. I haven't in a while.
flavors of fire from fire this is usually where I come to because the food is so good um, I would highly recommend this is my favorite this is the one that I always get right here <laughs> meals from Mars montage so if you do the scavenger hunt for the food here are the menu items Oh, that's interesting. The Shinken Doodle and whatever, that one's really good too. You really, I don't know if you can really go wrong. So I'm just gonna like walk around. We're gonna see what there is to eat. If you hear my fan, I am sorry. It's hot out today. We're gonna walk around. We're gonna see what tickles our fancy first and then we're gonna get the hat. I'm not gonna just jump on the first thing because I'll do that and then <laughs> I don't have an appetite for anything else the remainder of the day. So this next one I believe is the fry flat basket. Yep. The fry basket. So Adoba Yuka fries. And then there's like a little refreshment station where you can go and eat and they got beverages over yonder, Coca-Cola, which is really nice. So it says Rose and slushies. Choose your flavor. Coca-Cola, Fanta, Pina Colada, Minute Maid. Choose your sort of candy toppings. What? So Coke is doing frozen slushies this year. I don't remember that last year. So that's new. So next we're going to go over to the Brew Wing Laboratory with Bunsen and Beaker. This is something that uh, is new. Not this year. It came in last year. But they have the pickle milkshake. Or at least they should. They did last year. Um, again, that's another one I highly recommend. It it's eggnog. You know what I mean? It's eggnog with the pickled spices. So if you like eggnog, I would definitely give it a try. Dad. I'm gonna say they have it because I see pickles on the window. Inside of Brew Wing Lab, and honestly, looks like trash can. It's pretty cool. They don't have nowhere near as much stuff up this year. One of those. Hey, dude, like your trash is totally awesome. Nice. Whatever. I'm freaking Disney. Yeah, they don't, it's like not even the same. I mean, it's night. It's cool in here, but it's not the same at all. Like they, they still have this cool wall. This is one of those walls where I'm, last year I was like, how did they do that? But other than that, they don't have, there's, there's just not that much stuff up this year. They minimized for sure. Um, it's still really cute in here. Here's a wall of stuff, but this is it. Like, I don't know, maybe I can find footage from last year. Uh, one of my external hard drives that had like a majority of my footage on it um, died. So, if I can find it, I will definitely like show you the comparison of what it looked like in there last year compared to what it looks like in there this year. What the heck, Disney? I mean, the. They also a month beyond what they normally do. A whole month. And on the first day last year, maybe, maybe a quarter, we'll say. <laughs> maybe a quarter of places were open on the first day. Other than that, everything was shut down, tarped up, but it like, you know, was coming soon. This year it looks like everything is open. But again, they're month beyond what they're normally open. This time last year I was already seeing Joey Fatone in Friends. You know what I mean? Eat to, eat to the beat. So...
get it from right here. We're gonna cut in front of everybody if we can, otherwise we'll be waiting forever. So, ooh. We got Donald Duck in Mexico, isn't he cute? I like his little sombrero. So I absolutely love Chinese food. I don't know if I've ever hit up the Chinese food cart during the festival. So maybe we'll do that. I also really love Japanese food. <laughs> we might end up hitting up them. Oh, I did them last year for the cart dinner. They've got these really cool, cold, like ramen noodles. Usually, also when I do the pavilions or the festival, I go like the other way around. I don't know why. Is this the way that I normally walk around the park? I don't think so. I think I go the other way. I haven't been in the park in so long, I can't remember. Now we're in India. Smells really good. Ooh. They're doing something right <laughs> at that one because it smells really, really good there. You can just smell curry and like naan. Ooh, all the yummy stuff. I don't know what I'm gonna get to eat. The other problem is is when I get hot, I don't I lose my appetite. Maybe we'll find something to drink first. And then we'll eat it. Yeah, I just happened to find some food and wine merchandise in Germany. Um, they do etching, which is really cool. I'm not going to pick any of it up though. I drop everything. <laughs> oh. Stalo presents complimentary bottle grading from Dolce & Gabbana. That's the perfume I wear. Go in here then. Are those egg rolls? What is this? A Greek gyro. So this is something I've never, I mean, maybe it was on the menu before, but I've never tried before. Um, so I have tzatziki sauce, the gyro meat, red onion, tomato, lettuce. I don't know, I'm hungry. I have came into the park having only eaten a caprese salad, so. That was hard to pick up and eat. The way they packaged all of that, it just kind of flew out of the package as I was eating it. Other than that, it tastes very, very good. It tastes just like a Greek gyro. It just sucks the way that they packaged it. Other than that, 
Oh, and there is cucumber or zucchini in this as well. Oh, okay. I just got done eating. Grease. The line for grease is really long now. Oh, but at least we'll... That was good. That was really good. So, I still can't believe some people will try like one of each thing or like everything that the festival has to offer. I can like that guy. Huh. I, I bet you that means Tom's nearby somewhere. Can someone please explain to me why they play the Edmund Fitzgerald at Epcot? Why? A weird song to play at Epcot. I mean, if you know nothing about Edmund Fitzgerald, look it up. Uh, Sunken Lake Superior. Why are they? Okay. And then uh, a famous singer-songwriter wrote a song about it. If you're in the UP, you hear that song all the time, but to come to Epcot in here, it's like, what? What? Oh. Uh. What say you? So this is really cute normally. This whole area up here is like closed. It's right next to Epcot. Journey into Imagination, I mean. Or by it. But now they've turned into a new area for the festival, which is cute. We're gonna do figment. I don't want you out of my sight. Out of sight? Okay. Cows. It's about listening with your imagination. <laughs> now I've completely lost my train of thought. No, you haven't. It's only because it was hiding and it got sneaky. There we go. I'll see you later. Bye.